Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review. This time I'm doing Bandai's Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite 1013RX0 Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Norm Awakening version. Alright, so this is the uh, Banshee uh, box. It's a very nice uh, dark blue box in contrast to the first version that came in a white box. So I like this uh, blue box with the uh, Goro uh, writings uh, on in front and here is the uh, back of the box featuring Banshee and then together with uh, Unicorn uh, Awakening mode alright so without further ado let me just uh, move the box aside and here is the Banshee Norm alright so okay just adjust the camera a little bit okay so here we see uh, Banshee Norm in his uh, Unicorn mode. Okay. So, okay, now up close. Just to show you guys, this is the shield. It's a very, very nice shield. I'll go more into details for the shield. Okay, it's a very nice robot. Okay, in terms of the uh, metallic blue, okay, color on the body, it has this uh, specky, specky, uh, like dust like um, particles on the paint job. It's really, really nice. And then on the uh, shoulders and all over the body, you have this very, very nice detailed decals, all right, imprints, uh, which is a very nice touch to, to the robot. And over here, we look at the back view. Okay, all very, very nicely done. Okay, and uh, contrast to the uh, first version, the gold over here is matte gold rather than chrome gold, uh, which is a nice difference uh, for the uh, two Gundams, all right. The uh, magnetic blue, okay, is actually exactly the same. I done a comparison earlier on, and this shield is actually very heavy and very wobbly. So you can see from my camera over here, it's so wobbly, and then it tends to make Banshee a little bit uh, lopsided. So uh, he tends to want to lean towards uh, in the camera right now, the right side, because of the weight of the shield, as you can see, right? He tends to lean more towards the right side because of the weight of the shield. So for the uh, first part of the review, just uh, remove the shield for easier uh, ref, uh, for me to do the review uh, more easily okay but before me go to the Gundam let me just uh, feature a little bit more on the shield so this shield is basically like a normal shield and then the add-on parts to it so it's really cool because right here you can just take out this part okay take out this portion over here and here you can just uh, take out this grey part here first okay and once you've done so you can remove this part Okay, and then you have the normal shoe. You have the normal shoe of the uh, bun shoe, which is really cool. So, uh, normal shoe, what you do, just uh, pull it apart. Open this. Okay, and there you have the normal shoe, right? And then you can add on those parts uh, to form the uh, the special shoe, which is a very, very nice touch. I mean, I like it. This shoe is so awesome. Okay, it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna put this back first, and uh, later on I'll go more into details on the uh, feature of the shoe. All right. So Banshee, as we see here, uh, metal composite Banshee, very nice figure. It comes with uh, extra hands uh, for you to swap. So for this review, I'll just show the default hands, and uh, for the uh, crest or the uh, horn, it comes with three types. One is the uh, default type, which is this. Uh, unopened horn, okay, is one, okay, and then it comes to the second type, which is the open horn, and this is the third type, which is a transformable one, which I will showcase uh, in this video review. And for the backpack over here, we have over here is the backpack, okay, the special Banshee Norm backpack, all right. So for the sake of the review, I'm just gonna take the backpack apart first, okay, and we shall go through that in detail later, okay. So uh, in terms of metal content. The uh, die cast content is mainly in the lower part, which is the inner frame of the ankle, and then over here for the. Um, let me just plug this out so I can show you more details. Okay, the inner part of the uh, hip, alright? And then also, let me see. Uh, arms wise, no, very minimal die cast. Alright, so basically, that's uh, most of where the die cast is in the uh, hip section and in the lower ankle section. So Metal Composite Gundam, basically they have a lot less metal uh, compared to the uh, metal, build Gundam, uh, metal Build Gundam, which is uh, mainly the whole frame is like a uh, die cast. All right, so uh, okay, I've done this transformation, I think three times already for the three Unicorn Gundams. So I'm gonna do this again for this one. Uh, what you're gonna do, okay, first thing first, let's, um, let's do the head, yeah. 
So for the head wise, what they want to do? Okay, uh, take the, out the uh, side panels. Okay, it's easier for you to transform the head this way. So just take these two out for the time being. All right. And then gonna lift the head up. Okay, once you do, you shift the unicorn face in, and you press the head down. Okay, all the way in, down, and then as you do so, you open up the uh, unicorn horn. Okay, to review this. So all the way down, very nicely. Okay, once you've done so, for this part, okay, it was this way. You rotate it 180 degrees. So this will be the uh, face plate, uh, part of the face plate for the uh, Gundam mask. Okay, here we just put it in over here. Fits nicely in place. Similarly for the other side, okay, it was like this. Flip it 180 degrees, and then you slot it in over here. Okay, now let's get alignment correct. Okay, let me just get it done nicely. Okay, so once it's done nicely, the face is done. Let me just do a final check. Well done. Alright, so the face is done. Okay, next what we're going to do, we're going to uh, pull out his chest. Okay, take a little bit of uh, effort. Okay, go out over here. Now for this side, pull it out as well. Okay, you can see it exposed the uh, inner frame, which is really, really cool. And uh, you can either use your beam saber or you can use a sharp object like a, like a pen to actually push out this this part over here of the shoulders. Okay, so over here, similarly, just get it out. Okay. So getting this placed out, it will help you to actually keep the shoulders in place because uh, when, when you play or pose the figure, if you do not push this two part out, you might uh, accidentally just push the armor in, uh, which is a little bit irritating at times. Okay, and then, uh, okay, let me see. So you see, as you pull out, you see this arm part might come out, so just push it back in, all right? So here comes this part of the chest compartment. Pull this down, okay, just flip this down over here to show the entire chest component. And then, uh, there's, as per the uh, unicorn feature, it does show the cockpit, so all you need to do is just to um, pull this uh, front part over here, slightly outwards, and it shows you the uh, so-called cockpit feature for the unicorn Gundam. Okay, you can't really see the seat inside, but it's just like sort of simulate the uh, cockpit feature whereby the pilot can just go in from here. Right? Okay, it's, it's not that detailed for you to see the cockpit actually. So once you're done over here on the uh, Shoulders. You I'm um, gonna lift up the shoulder part over here. And once you've done so, rotate this downwards. This part, this shoulder part over here, rotate it downwards. Okay, push it up. Okay, once you've done so, then you push the shoulders down. So now you have the shoulder frame open up. Very nice. Okay, and then over here for the arm, pull. Okay, pull the wrist and then pull the elbow upwards okay just expose the frame over here and over here you can actually open this part okay if you want to okay this shows you more of an internal frame okay but this is actually how the uh, arm will look like so this arm assembly is actually done over here so for the other side over here let me just replicate the same thing pull out the uh, shoulders okay and then rotate this upwards okay once it's done upwards nicely push the shoulder down align this nicely okay here pull out the wrist pull out the elbow very nice and we have the arms both uh, done okay so next we're gonna do uh, we're going to extend the feet or rather the legs so what you're going to do over here, you're going to go to the back over here, just lift the uh, skirt backwards. Okay, this needs a little bit of a strength. Okay, so just lift the skirt backwards over here. Okay, you need to unpop this. Okay, once you're done, okay, extend the hips outwards. You can see over here, I'm extending the hip outwards. Alright, just extend the legs. And then once you align them, push it in. Okay, you will lock the hips nicely okay 
one thing to note about the hips is that they are extremely extremely tight all right so the first time I was actually moving the hips I, I felt I'm gonna break the, the legs you know, so so tight is it even in the review I'm doing right now it's so tight to move the legs upwards okay so uh, do not be surprised when you move uh, your Gundam uh, Banshee's legs because they are extremely extremely tight okay extremely tight to extend that you feel you might break it but fortunately it's made of die cast so you are safe okay next thing I'm gonna do uh, just pull out this part for the side skirts similarly for the other side just pull it out okay and for over here from the bottom part just flip it up okay once you flip it up push it upwards Okay, that's for the front skirt, for the other side, flip it up, alright, push it upwards. Okay, let me just align this again, nicely, and we are done over here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do for over here, I'm going to push the front portion out, lift this up, push this in, and the uh, groin or crouch version uh, portion is done for the armor for the back you just need to leave these two thrusters out okay but uh, you you probably have to do it again and again because as you do the transformation you just keep popping back in so yeah so next step what I'm gonna do is extend the thighs over here okay legs done and over here right now lift up the kneecap as you lift up the kneecap you lift this portion down Okay, flip this uh, backwards a little bit and flip this forward. Okay, as you do so over here at the back, use your fingernail, pop it up all the way straight out. Okay, and then you align it over here. And once you're done, it, okay, close the kneecap. Similarly, over here, just uh, pop the kneecap upwards. Okay. And then this part, move it down. This part, push it back. As you push it back, you rotate this forward. Okay. Use your fingernails to actually drag the this portion out. Once you've done so, align this down. Okay. Once it's aligned nicely, push this downwards. Okay. Let me just make sure the alignment is done nicely first. Okay. Okay, let me just check for both sides for consistency. All right, done. Okay, and then you actually extend this lower part of the knee as well. For both sides, extend them. All right, for more length. Over here, you unpack the two sides. Once you unpack them, you extend the uh, lower ankle a little bit more. And once you've done so, you pack it in to lock it in place. Okay, let's do it for the other side first. Unpack this. Unpack this. Right? Pull. Lock it back in place. Okay. And over here, flip the ankle cover upwards. Align it nicely. Over here, right here. Done. And then you flip the toe forward. Flip the back heels backwards. Okay, you're gonna flip this up. And as you do so, over here these sides, flip it downwards. Okay. Okay, you hold this and you flip this downwards. Align them nicely. Okay. And I'm done for one leg. No, over here, flip this upwards and then you push it downwards. Okay, this is for the back, and over here, lift it slightly upwards. Okay, and then you have one leg completely done. Right? Now for the uh, other leg. Other leg. Flip this upwards, align the ankle pad with the top of the ankle. Flip this downwards, flip this out. Okay, flip this out. Rotate this downwards and align them. Similarly for the other side. Hold this. Rotate this. Okay, alignment is done. Lift this up. 
pull it down a little bit over here open it okay and then we have both legs done over here right now okay cool let me just uh place him over here make sure he's standing very nicely first let me just align his um feet okay and one more thing you gotta do lift up the uh, waist portion so over here we lift up the waist portion you can see the um, transparent green parts at the back okay for the back of the shoe uh, shoe is very simple just flip this open okay flip this upwards you flip this forward okay align them nicely and for the sides uh, over here just um, flip open to show the two thrusters okay and on top over here flip open over here and then we are done this is for the backpack so the backpack goes very nicely hook it in okay make sure to align this and then we have a uh, bunchy norm okay destroy mode well done, assemble. Ta da! Yeah. So he is like daddy long legs because he really just extend his height really by a lot. Okay. Make sure this is done nicely. Okay. And the final part of daddy long legs. Uh, this very impressive shoe, alright? Let me just show one side how it looks like. You open this part, you open this part, and you open this part. Okay, this is how the shoe looks like if you were to open just one side of it really really nice so I'm gonna open up the other side as well just to show the uh, full burst mode of the shoe lift this up okay and then you just extend the entire shoe open up these two panels okay once you've done so extend the shoe completely this is how massive that shoe looks like fully extended really awesome and really really nice really nice prism color let me just uh, wipe the shoe a little bit okay just wipe the prism parts okay I'm gonna fit the shoe into the uh, arm okay the back over here split it nicely Align it nicely. Yep. Okay. Just extend this nicely again, just to make sure the uh, alignment is all done nicely. Okay. So, over here, the side view of uh, Manji Norm Destroy Mode, you can see the shoe is really huge and really impressive. I love the shoe so much okay the only issue I have with the shoe is that it just feels so wobbly see it just feels so wobbly I wish they had made it uh, more sturdy but uh, I think with the engineering of the shoe and the design of the shoe it's a little bit tough for them to do so uh, and what other features I have to showcase okay the blaster gun very cool feature okay let me just take this out first and every one of these is like a bullet so it's like you can actually just take this out individually it's really cool all right so if you want to simulate him firing like two shots and he has left three three shots you can just do it and then just put it in and just slot it in which is really cool i, I like this feature and this level of detail uh that they have for this so it's over here you slot it in and by the way they come with three of these right so you can put two of them at the uh, back at the office skirt if you want to uh, and then have one of them slot in here so actually if he goes into full battle he has about 15 shots and over here you can actually have this uh, extra handle for him to hold if you want to hold the uh, pistol this way you can do it and then uh, what else is there for the feature um, okay and then it has this okay this uh, four rounds of machine gun or, 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 or missiles okay you can just slot in over here to his gun really really cool and then over here okay you can actually flip this outwards this part can flip this out okay and once you flip this out you can actually fit it to the uh, back of his shoe so it's, it actually slots in over here okay so you can actually place the gun over here which is a very nice 
feature to me. You know, it holds the gun over here. And over here, this extra uh, missile port that it has, you can just slot it in at the back of the skirt over here. Fits in very nicely. Okay. Cool. Okay, let me just make sure it goes in nicely. Extend everything nicely. And yes, there we have Bungie. Okay, and again, uh, he is slightly um, tipsy towards the right side of this uh, video because of the weight of the shoe. Okay, that's something that is uh, a shame for this toy. Right, this figure, let me just adjust him a little bit more. Okay, nice. All right, so here's Bungie. I'm going to place him uh, side by side with the uh, first Bungie. Okay. So, okay, cool. So here in a side by side comparison, we see that the uh, two of them basically have the same blue. All right, I've done a close up comparison with the two. They have the same uh, specky uh, metallic uh, blue with uh, like dust particles inside them. So they have the same blue color per se. All right, it's exactly the same. So there's no difference in the blue. Uh, what's the difference between these two is that the inner frame here is orange, whereas this is uh, green. And then it comes with different accessories and as well as the uh, gold parts. This is chrome gold, whereas this is uh, matte gold over here. And then the accessories and the weapons for both of them are actually different. The arms, uh, you can see over here, it has this um, plasma cannon thing and then the claw over here, whereas this has the basic unicorn uh, arms, which is actually the same. So the difference is actually in the shield. Um, so for those of you who actually bought the first one, okay, I think the second one is worth buying as well because it is it feels like a different toy. Alright, it feels like a different figure with the different armaments and the um, different color scheme for the gold and, and for the inner frame. So I guess uh, this is actually actually quite nice as well. So uh, if you ask me to compare the two which I prefer, I like both of them equally. Okay. Uh, for the one on my uh, right uh, left side, this bunch I like it because he has his unique features like the plasma gun on the hand and this claw arm. Whereas for this, he has a different sort of feel. He has a very nice shield and then he has a very nice backpack. So both of them are equally nice and, 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 and cool in, in their own aspect. Only thing is that uh, in terms of weight management wise, uh, it just tends to tilt towards the right because of the weight of the shoe and the shoe itself like I showed in the video several times it's not very stable so uh, here's Charles signing off if you had another toy review I hope you guys have enjoyed it do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time all right and here is the Bungie Norm all right so okay Let me just adjust the camera a little bit okay so here we see uh, Bungie Norm in his uh, Unicorn mode. Okay. So, okay, now up close. Just to show you guys, this is the shoe. It's a very, very nice shoe. I'll go more into details for the shoe. Okay, it's a very nice robot. Okay, in terms of the uh, metallic blue, okay, color on the body, it has this uh, specky, specky, uh, like dust like um, particles on the paint job. It's really, really nice. And then on the uh, Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review. This time I'm doing Bandai's Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite 1013RX0 Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Norm Awakening version. Alright, so this is the uh, Banshee uh, box. It's a very nice uh, dark blue box in contrast to the first version that came in a white box. So I like this uh, blue box with the uh, Goro uh, writings uh, on in front and here is the uh, back of the box featuring Banshee and then together with uh, Unicorn uh, Awakening Mode alright so without further ado let me just uh, move the box aside the shoulders and all over the body have this very very nice detailed decals alright imprints uh, which is a very nice touch to, to the robot and over here we look at the back view okay all very very nicely done okay and uh, contrast to the uh, first version, the gold over here is matte gold rather than chrome gold, uh, which is a nice difference uh, for the uh, two Gundams. All right, the uh, magnetic blue, okay, is actually exactly the same. I done a comparison earlier on, and this shield is actually very heavy and very wobbly. So you can see from 
my camera over here is so wobbly and then it tends to make a bunchy a little bit uh, lopsided so uh, he tends to want to lean towards uh, in the camera right now the right side because of the weight of the shield as you can see right he tends to lean more towards the right side because of the weight of the shield so for the uh, first part of the review just uh, remove the shield for easier uh, ref uh, for me to do the review uh, more easily okay but before me go to the Gundam let me just uh, feature a little bit more on the shield so this shield it's basically got a normal shield and then the add-on parts to it so it's really cool because right here you can just take out this part okay take out this portion over here and here you can just uh, take out this grey part here for us okay and once you've done so you can remove this part okay and then you have the normal shield you have the normal shield of the uh, bun shield which is really cool so uh, normal shield what you do just uh, pull it apart open this okay and there you have the normal shoe right and then you can add on those parts uh, to form the uh, the special shoe which is a very very nice touch I mean I like it this shoe is so awesome okay it looks really really nice so I'm gonna put this back first and uh, later on I'll go more into details on the uh, feature of the shoe alright so Banshee as you see here uh, metal composite 